What's up, everybody? Let's do a little video here. Last week of May, we're gonna start off with my mustard. We uh, sprayed this bed with Sluggo. That seemed to help. We tried to do the beer thing by putting a cup there. Some beer, that didn't work. But the Sluggo seemed to work and everything started growing back. You can see the ones that were bitten and then the ones that started growing. Our broccoli, spinach, our lettuce is trying to survive there, cauliflower. Our mustard here took off, but now it seems to start to bolt. I think I'm going to take this out now. I don't want it to get all nasty. It is one of the few that actually grew on a wool cube. It's good stuff though. We like it. We never actually grew mustard or even tried it. Probably have it in a salad today. Put it over here for now. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, Mom's orchids. They're doing pretty good. Replanted, repotted some. Waiting for some of these to bloom and some of these to stop blooming so I can repot them. The ones in the red pots, I'm probably going to repot them. Been buying these at the 99 cent drilling holes myself so they can get aeration. They seem to like it. This one's still not growing anything, so I repotted it. But uh, looks good still. Not bad. This one I thought was going to die, but it actually came out pretty good. Very nice. We put our gardenias. Gardenias, baby? No. Hydrangeas over here. They were in the front. See how burnt they are? Looks like they don't really like too much sun, so we moved them to a spot where there wasn't that much sun. I trimmed these down. They're pretty good. Wife wants them out, but I like them. Our rosemary hanging in there loves it there this is another type of herb that I can't remember but in our Mexican culture we use them for stuff all right so the carrots are doing good finally see it's starting to grow a little better get out of the sun's way here so I think the ones that are gonna survive are gonna survive ones that are going to get bigger will get bigger and if not then it's not we also got this rose bush my mom got it for mother's day put it in a pot looking good it stopped blooming should have taken a picture when it was full bloom got our beets taken off zucchini still doing good See what else our other squash over there is doing good the mulch is helping out a lot we stopped watering at least at least two more days and the dirt stays great our boysenberries you can see it now getting a nice little fruits there that one's ready to go they're just about to bloom. We covered them up. Covered them up because of the birds. That one's almost ready. So, yeah. It's doing pretty good. Our blueberries. Doing that good there. There's some red leaves there. Some people are saying it's because of the temperature spikes. Or because we just replanted it. This is the one that looks pretty beat up. It's all black. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna yank those out pretty soon. Changed our mind. I'll come back and talk about the tomatoes in a bit. We got uh, three watermelon plants that are gonna go across this whole bed here. Our strawberries are gonna stay there. You can see they're we're getting a whole bunch of strawberries just from that plant alone actually so we're happy about that 
beautiful and they're delicious nice and sweet they came from these i'll show you those in a bit we got uh some uh, cauliflower that we planted here not sure how long it'll last it's gonna start getting hotter we had a cantaloupe here the one that after the spray didn't make it but I got some more growing there's another cantaloupe there that's growing and another one right there here that's growing here another one here and I want those to run that way let's see which one wins between the cantaloupe and the watermelon this one's kind of on its last days our flowers here are starting to bloom I have different ones there you can see that the little ones that I planted with my uh, sunflowers sunflowers are starting to come out here Let's see what else chrysanthemums I'm not sure if they like the sun too much I'm wondering maybe I should put it in a shadier spot maybe like here somewhere Let's see what else we planted some tomatoes we started planting tomatoes so just an FYI we planted all that kind of like an L shape all the way there that's what we did last year and then we were done unfortunately this year more seedlings came out than we had than we uh, anticipated so now we're about to buy more pots so hopefully uh, we'll get more delicious tomatoes all right let's go in here our cucumbers they're coming along some of them are still dealing with the burnt from the spray that I used they're coming along our uh, chamomile I think it's done there's our lizards chilling got more flowers growing there got more strawberries here here's another one's here you can see those check that out pretty cool this one's starting to grow some these are the ones from the other side they're starting to burn a little bit I'm not sure if they're liking it but that's growing strawberries so we're happy about that and now the tomatoes so now we got a whole bunch of tomatoes here planted and it's doing pretty good compared to we moved that lavender away at the end it was down here but now we have tomatoes so now we moved it our lavender there that's always been there it's taken off let's see what else well we get a variety looks like they're doing pretty good some of these had basil in them so I went ahead and I Planted them with the basil. I'll go around and show you guys. I'll go around. Oh, my wife's other calla lilies came out. The little ones I was telling you about, they're kind of dark purplish color. So, it's nice. There's another lily coming out of there. What else? This is the sunflower I told you is coming out. Looks pretty cool. Some of these are still dealing with the, the spray, like I told you guys. They get all burnt. Test your sprays, people. Test your sprays. Got some more squash here. Put them in different pots. Now if they outgrow the pot, they can go out of the pot. It's fine. More lilies. Our blackberry. Get another little bloom on the side there. Taking off. More lilies. 
and then the tomatoes. So the bigger plants are basils, and then the little plants are tomatoes or mint. The very various tomatoes that we planted, tomatillos, early girls, uh, vintage wine, Bing cherry tomatoes, Bing ponderosa, bush early tomatoes, this ayoka tomato, just different ones. This time we kind of we went all out. See those are the blueberries back there. Our neighbor's lemon tree is doing pretty good. Or at least from my side it is. I'm pretty sure from his side too. But we fertilize it and take care of it. Obviously when we water these, it gets watered. So yeah, that's about it for that. So we were thinking maybe taking this plumeria out now and then putting tomatoes all on this side. And now we have the metal to walk through. Yeah, we have a little dilemma there. Let's see what else. That's just a palm. Our gardenias, that's our gardenias here. All right there, it looks like it's doing pretty good. It likes it. This plumeria is gonna start blooming and taking off. See it? It's my wife chilling until I finish the video. Our lemon tree is starting to bloom again, man. I don't understand why all of a sudden these trees are starting to bloom again. Usually this one starts blooming in November or so. But this weather's crazy, man, I tell you. So, remember that lily that was over here by itself? Well, that's it right there. A whole bunch of other plants. It's liking it. And I think in this onion, it was supposed to be our onion thing. Before that, we planted uh, potatoes. And I think that's leftover potato stuff there. So, we're leaving it. Let's see what happens. Our fig tree, that thing is taking off, man. We're happy about that. Let's see what else. Give me a second. Our flowers over here, our asters and our sweet williams. They're surviving. At least whatever needs to survive along the plane. Okay. This uh, berry bush tree whatever it is it's still here another palm that we have our compost we've been just throwing stuff in there and then we throw the leaves in there from our avocado this one doesn't look like it's gonna pan out kind of sucks we had a lot of flowers earlier in the spring but now it looks like nothing's coming out of it. At least last year we had about 10. This year nothing. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Kind of sad. Not sure if maybe it needs a fuerte or this is a fuerte avocado to help it bloom. But yeah, I can't have two avocados in this house. It's too, it's too small. And now my seedlings. So we got some seedlings here still. Tomatoes. We got some lettuce from that container that I had is growing. We got our Japanese cucumber growing here. Super happy. More African daisies. It's true leaves are coming out of those. The thyme's still there. That's for that. And then we got the rest here. Peppers. Zucchinis. More tomatillos. Um, 
I try to grow some more peppers. Those are the ones that don't have anything on them. I took some mint from my sister-in-law. Some of it's taken off. This chili plant that was also growing up wild. Looks like I think it's a Pekin chili. Let's see. Those are more daisies. And then since the spring incident, we decided to plant more cantaloupe just in case. Those are taken off. We also have a, uh, well, we've got a newcomer that I didn't know about. What is that? Black Beauty Pepper. So that's kind of cool. My wife says she helped it, but that's just the nature of growing. I'll let her believe that. Oh, and I think I see some cucumbers over here. Oh, no, more cantaloupe. Damn. I guess those seeds that we had were actually pretty good. We grew. That's about it for that. I guess I can show you my compost bin. I already did. My uh, worm bin. Let me show you my worm bin. So here's the worm bin. At least one of them. Looking good. Got to throw a little more water. I had thrown a big old watermelon in here. I guess they took care of it. Wow. Yeah, it looks like they did. Anyways, the worms are thriving. They're doing good. I don't think I'm going to water it, actually. This dirt's pretty moist. here or maybe they're old I don't know they're composting pretty good I might throw some more cocoa core on here who knows Let's see what we got over here yeah there's still some there check that out those are babies these are babies yeah these are babies I think yeah those are babies look at that that's hella cool all right we know that one's doing good. I'm not liking this position because in the afternoon the sun hits it. But I think the the actual dirt itself is still moist. And I haven't watered it in about two weeks. It's not summer yet either though. This is the old bin. Let's see if we got any worms in here. Get a few. Yeah, there's still some here. Hanging in there. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, okay, cool. So, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. This dirt is still pretty moist. I think I just need to toss it a little bit. Look at that. Tons of them hanging out. Look at that. Toss it around. Give, give them new stuff to grow. Over here. It's still pretty moist, like I said. cardboard in there keep moist cool yeah so I think I'm just gonna yeah there's a bunch right there let them go underground in a little bit but the dirt's still moist it's not uh, it's not dry at all last year it used to get dry a lot, so I'm thinking maybe that cocoa core helps, and also the shredded cardboard that I put in here helps. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Maybe drop some more fruit. I don't put coffee in here anymore. 
I'll just go ahead and leave it the way it is. All right, well, I guess that's pretty much it. A little quick tour for you guys, just so you guys know. That way, say hi to the family. Wife says hi. And uh, I think that's it. So thanks for watching. Any issues, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And what? Oh, you want to show them the front? Oh, let me show you the front. Hold on. So remember that stump? That stump was in the front. My father-in-law took that out. Now we planted new tomatoes. Some new tomatoes here. Early girl, tomatillos, brandy wine, and pink ponderosa. And they're doing pretty good. Hanging in there. Mulched it up. So yeah, happy about that. And then let me show you this. These are all more lilies. I think I, sh I was going to show you this at one point I never did. I don't mulch this because my father-in-law doesn't like it, but I think I should. African daisies that we bought at Home Depot. Got some yellow lilies are growing. That's the mint that I just repotted. But on this spot here, we had our other plant. I'm thinking we're going to plant something here. Not sure what. I'm wondering what to put on here. It gets about five, six hours of sun. So maybe peppers, maybe. I'm not sure. So we'll see. But anyways, I'll leave you with that little beautifulness. Thank you for watching. And uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.